Go. They want of the uh, tractor build. My wife wants a little model tractor. So I got the stuff to do it with. So build a little tractor. So yesterday was kind of clean up. I wanted to gather some parts and see what I had and see what I needed. And so the first thing I wanted to do was do the rear axle. Now it's an odd size, so I couldn't find pipe that was the exact right diameter. So what I did was I, I found a piece that was fairly close. Uh, in the, uh, the outside diameter was fairly close to the inside diameter of the hubs. And I welded them in as a sleeve on both of these wheels. Then I used a piece of inch and a half black pipe threaded at each end as the axis with it. The black pipe goes through the hub inside of which is my, my, uh, my shim, my, it's a bearing for lack of a better word. And then on each end, I've got a, uh, uh, a screw in. It's the brace at the bottom of a uh, uh, fencing so that when you, you screw it to the ground and then you screw the pipe in on top of it, that's what those are. Those are my hub, my hub uh, uh, screws on each end. So that should hold it all in place. These pieces here are off of a GMC fit, uh, a half ton pickup truck lift kit. Um, I scrounged it, a buddy of mine was taking it off and was dumping it in the dumpster. And so for the steel's purposes, I kept them. So what I did was I just went in and I bored the holes out to the proper outside diameter and I'll weld these in place and these will hold the uh, wheels from the inside and then they'll give me a place to attach the frame. These are my frame uh, pieces right here. They'll give me a place to attach those uh, when I go and put the front end in. So I'm going to tack those in place and then I'm going to throw the frame on there and kind of sort it all out. And then on the next video, we'll get going on that front end. Thank you.